The Tempe Buccaneers shocked the world this year. All right. Nobody, and I mean nobody I saw that was doing regular predictions, even had Tampa Bay winning more than five games. Like, Baker Mayfield, you can't give comeback player of the year to anybody else, maybe, but Joe Flacco. To anybody else, like, anybody else who's in conversation to win comeback player of the year is probably Joe Flacco, and then it's Baker Mayfield, and then it's everybody else, bro, like... I listened to Colin Coward on his podcast say that Baker Mayfield should have retired before the season so he could save himself from the embarrassment. Like, nobody thought that Baker Mayfield would have the kind of season that he's had this year with the Tempe Buccaneers. And not just was he overlooked and not given a shot, but Tom Bowles, like, after what happened with Brady last season, like, people thought that Tom Bowles should have been fired, bro. Like, they barely won the division with Tom Brady. They barely made it into the postseason. And yet, Tom Bowles had this team playing at a better level this season than what it was last year under Tom Brady. Now, I still don't believe that Tom Bowles is a great coach, but he's won this division for two consecutive years in a row. Regardless of how bad it is, you got to give him props for it. You know, like, if you are at least a solid head coach, you should at least be able to win a division like this. And Todd Bowles was able to do that. So now Todd Bowles, he goes from being, you know, a bad head coach in my eyes to a mid-tier head coach in my eyes. Like this dude, if you need him to win you a few games here or there, he can do it. The defense was pretty good for the most part outside of that performance when he got your ass shredded by CJ Stroud. This defense has been lights out. Your offense is still a little inconsistent, but the hiring of Dave Canales was a pretty good one. And it may be one of the most underrated staff hires of last year's offseason. Like, everybody's talking about how the Dolphins hired Vic Vangio and the Vikings hired Brian Flores and the Ravens hired Todd Munkin. But hiring Dave Canales was huge for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This was somebody who was the quarterback's coach for the last couple of years with Russell Wilson and Geno Smith. And he did God's work. Well, Baker Mayfield and this 10 Bay Buccaneers offense, they still can't run the football, but at least they have a serviceable passing attack. You got Mike Evans having a great season. You got Chris Godwin having a pretty solid season. But for Baker Mayfield, like, I don't think you can make the argument for anybody else winning comeback player of the year outside of Joe Flacco. Like, if it's not Joe Flacco, it has to be Baker Mayfield, bro, because nobody gave this dude a shot. This is Baker Mayfield's fourth team in like three years. Traded by the Browns to Carolina, cut by the Panthers, picked up by the Rams. They don't re-sign him. He comes to Tampa Bay and reinvents himself and bounces back. Like, this is one of the greatest comeback stories, not just of the season, but the NFL history. Like, hats off to Lamar Hamlin. For nearly dying on the football field, getting resuscitated back to life, and being able to even suit up and play another snap of football. But Baker Mayfield should win Come Out Player of the Year, unless you want to give it to Joe Flacco, then I wouldn't have no argument against that neither. But I really feel this should go to either Baker Mayfield or Joe Flacco. Really, they should just split the award if we be honest about it. Because what Joe Flacco is doing right now, when he was a couple of months ago sitting on the couch, and then all of a sudden leads the Browns to the playoffs is remarkable. But so is what Baker Mayfield has done this season. Like, nobody gave this dude a chance. Like, people were counting down the days to when he was going to get benched for Kyle Trask. And he had some pretty ugly performances in training camp. Like, he didn't look all that great in training camp. He had a lot of performances when he was turning the football over. There were days when Kyle Trask looked better than Baker. And at one point, we were asking ourselves, you know, like, were they tanking for Caleb Williams potentially when they signed Baker Mayfield? So, like, now, look at Baker Mayfield. This is definitely somebody who, you know, I wouldn't give him a big-time extension. I possibly still could draft a quarterback because we've seen feel-good stories like this. You know, next season just completely evaporate and that quarterback just goes back to playing like dirt or playing mid, like we've seen Geno Smith do this season for the Seattle Seahawks. But Baker Mayfield, if I'm the Tempe Buccaneers, I possibly give him a one-year, two-year extension, and then I draft a quarterback, and then take it from there. I don't know if Baker Mayfield is the long-term answer. There still has been a lot of games that he's played this season where he hasn't looked that great. But 
the good outweighs the bad for Baker Mayfield this season. And he had all his incentives. You know, he's top five in touchdowns or passing touchdowns, passing yards, like touchdown interception ratio, and has his team in the postseason. So it's like these dudes have just completely shocked the whole entire NFL. Like nobody expected Tampa Bay to be in the damn playoffs. Like nobody. Everybody mostly thought that they were going to be taken for Kayla Williams. So you go from being expected to tank for Kayla Williams to three, four months later winning this division. And the talent was there. Like nobody ever questioned like how talented the Buccaneers were. Like this is the most talented team in this division. We're just going purely off talent. But, you know, you probably were thinking before the season, like, you know, maybe midway through the year, things aren't working out. We should just trade away Mike Evans, trade away Chris Godwin, trade away our best players and start trying to get those assets so we can go into a rebuild. But, you know, like, this was a fantastic job by Baker Mayfield this season and how he played and also Todd Bowles. Like, I got to give my hats off to him. I, I really thought that him firing their previous offensive coordinator, Byron Leftwich, was a scapegoat move. I really thought that Todd Bowles was going to get fired this season. I really did. And even if, you know, the Buccaneers aren't that good next season, if you're Todd Bowles, you can look at this and you can look at what you did last season and say, man, you're going to fire me after I just won this division two straight years in a row? So this year, if you're Todd Bowles, gives you at least two additional years in Tampa Bay. If things don't go right for you for the 2024 NFL season. You can use your past two seasons, winning this division back-to-back -back years, making it to the playoffs as, you know, a little bit of leverage to the organization saying, hey, man, like, I went to the playoffs two straight years in a row. Like, I deserve at least another year or so. So making it to the playoffs buys you more time remaining in Tampa if you're the head coach, Todd Bowles. All right, and even if Tampa doesn't end up being good next season, you know, and they, they possibly fizzle out. The good thing is that, you know, if you give Baker Mayfield a one-year, two-year extension, you can go, you can draft the quarterback high in next year's draft. So I think this is a great situation that the Buccaneers are currently in right now. This was a team that was supposed to be in rebuild mode. They were supposed to be garbage. You got, it, it's kind of like the Island of Misfit Toys in a sense. Like, Tyler Bowles wasn't given the shot. People felt he was a terrible head coach. People thought Baker Mayfield was a terrible quarterback. Like, his best days were behind him. And the Cleveland Browns. Like, yeah, you got Joe Flacco, but, you know, it hasn't really worked out. You given getting rid of Baker Mayfield. Like, you traded for Deshaun Watson, and Baker Mayfield has been better than him. Let's just be honest about it. If Baker Mayfield was playing for Cleveland right now, they possibly would have the one or two seed right now. They would be in a better position to win a Super Bowl than what they are right now with Joe Flacco. Not taking anything away from Joe Flacco and what he's done this season, but I look at how Baker Mayfield has played this season for Tampa Bay, and I look at Cleveland and Kevin's defense, and I'm like, bro, you really couldn't win with this? Was it all Baker, or was it a little bit of you? Like, Baker Mayfield got made out to be a villain after everything that happened with OBJ, you know, people call him out for being childish with his on-the-field antics. But I've always been a big supporter of Baker Mayfield. You know, I didn't think that the dude was going to be that good this season. You know, I thought he was done. But I've always loved everything that Baker Mayfield brings to the table as a football player. I love his competitiveness. I love the fact that this dude is always playing with a chip on his shoulder. He wants to prove people wrong. And what a better way to stick it to the people like Colin Coward who said you should have retired before the season by leading your team to the playoffs and leading them to their second straight division title. Like, hats off to the Buccaneers, bro. Like, you guys have completely shocked the world because nobody really gave you a chance at all, bro. Like, Let's be honest, even if you're a Buccaneers fan, just be honest with me in the comment section, fam. If you are a fan of the Tim Bay Buccaneers, did you really expect this team to win this division again? Did you really think that Baker Mayfield would be top 10 in every statistical category? Like, come on, man. Be, be honest. No. Like, this was a great season for Todd Bowles and Baker Mayfield, bro. Like, I think they were a perfect match for each other. You had a head coach who was desperate to save his job, who was desperate to prove that he is a solid head coach. And you had a quarterback in Baker Mayfield who was playing for his career pretty much. 
if this thing in Tampa Bay didn't work, then he got benched. He probably would never be a starter again in the NFL. And if Ty Bowles, you know, if it didn't work out for him this season and he would have gotten fired, this possibly, most likely would have been his last opportunity of being the head coach again. He's a really good defensive-minded coach. And the defense looked really good this year, even though at times he had some coverage bust. But, you know, like, uh, Ty Bowles, he's a solid head coach to me. You know, like, I'm going to give him respect. He's not one of the best coaches in the league, and you definitely could be better if you're Tampa Bay. But, you know, like, this was a great all-around story for Baker Mayfield and, you know, Todd Bowles.